For me as a feedlot operator, there's nothing better than receive the same kind of cattle year after year with the same condition, and I'm talking about health, nutritional, so on and so forth. That will solve a lot of problems for the industry. But because we don't have any idea where those cattle are coming from, again, we take a very defensive posture. And I think that's what happened with the packer too. He doesn't have any idea how good or what is going to be the quality of those animals. They have a decent idea, but not very good. Go on and ask any cattle buyer to qualify the animals on a head-by-head -head basis. I think you, me, my daughter can do as good as they are. Now, when you put them on a pen as a unit, of course, the probability gets better. I think the industry will show that we're accomplished, you know, the, the, the steps that we want to get in when, when we see differentials on the price of calves, maybe up to 50 or 60, 70 dollars a head. Because that will send the message, again, in a very strong way to the producer that is doing his job, he will get those 60 or 70 dollars above average. And the other one that is not doing his job, he may get $100 under the averages. The problem is that word, average, that everybody feels, if I'm in the average, I'm OK. There's no room for averages anymore. 